You can interactively import delimited and fix with text files with the import tool. We will look at importing numeric and text data, handling missing data, and generating MATLAB code. Let's say that you wanted to import the text file electricity.txt. First, let's open it up outside of MATLAB to get a better look. The file holds information about electricity usage. It is tab delimited and contains several data types. Text, such as name, numbers, such as ID, monetary amounts, denoted with a dollar sign, such as residential revenue, and dates. You can open the import tool using the import data icon in the home tab of the tool strip and choose the file you wish to import. The import tool that appears provides a view into the text file. For large files, only a beginning subset of the data is loaded in for this data preview. Therefore, you can create a custom import to load in part of a large data file without having to use the memory required to load in the entire file. When choosing the initial settings of how to format your data for import, the tool makes educated choices based on the file structure and content. The tool has correctly identified this file as being tab delimited. It chooses variable names based on the structure of the file and chooses variable types. See that the tool has chosen number for the ID and text for the name. These initial settings, however, can be adjusted. If you wish to use a different delimiter or even a combination of delimiters, you can choose that or even define a custom delimiter in the pull-down menu. You can also modify the variable type. For instance, let's say that you wanted to bring in the date as a serial date number instead of as text. The variable type is now date time, and if you hover over a cell, you can see the serial date that will be imported. Since the values for revenue are numbers with a constant character in front, a dollar sign, the tool strips off the constant character and represents the value as a number. This would be true of any column whose majority of data was a number with a constant prefix and or suffix. If you wanted to bring it in as text, you could choose that option instead. In this case, a period is used for the decimal separator. However, if you are given a text file that uses commas instead, you can set that as an option. If you are in a country where decimal separators are usually commas, the comma will be your default value. By default, the data will be imported as column vectors. However, you can choose to bring it in as a numeric matrix. The yellow highlights indicate cells that will not be imported, and in this case, text is replaced with NANDs since numeric matrices can't hold text. You can also bring the data in as a cell array or as a data set array if you have access to the statistics toolbox. You can adjust the columns and rows of the data that you wish to bring in either by highlighting the sections or by directly entering the range. You can also choose from previous ranges used. The initial range chosen for this file is marked with initial. Once you've established the way you wish to import the data, you can either import it directly into the MATLAB workspace or create a script or function. This time, let's generate a script. We save the file and then can run it from the editor. You can import data similarly from fixed width text files. Let's load in the file sodium.txt. Sodium.txt contains data related to patient sodium levels measured over the course of a drug trial. This time, let's bring in the file by right-clicking the file in the current folder window. Each text document is in a separate tab and multiple can be opened simultaneously just like editor files. This file is correctly identified as being fixed width, and the tool has made an initial estimate of where the boundaries are. You can adjust these boundaries, 
or insert additional fixed width boundaries. You can split columns and merge them. Empty cells are automatically replaced with NANDs, but this is adjustable. Since this is a fixed width text file, the column widths are not adjustable as with delimited files. Items temporarily expand when you need to edit them, giving you full view. This time, let's import our data as a dataset array and generate a function. The comments at the top of the function include example syntax to call the generated function. Save the function, and then you can call it from the command line. That concludes the video overview of interactive capabilities for text file import. Try these examples in MATLAB now, or watch one of the other videos.